my impressions are this. We were them a few years ago when we got here. So the opportunity for us to go out and take care of business, I think it showed we learned a little bit from our slip up against Sacred Heart coming in here and us not taking care of business. Uh, and we built off a, a good Manhattan win. So those are the positives. Now we have two days to get ready for a very good St. John's team. So uh, they're long, they're athletic. Uh, you know, they, uh, they try to turn you over and beat you up on the offensive glass. So those are going to be two keys for us. But a total team effort. I was thrilled with Ryan before the game. I said, go get 20 rebounds tonight. And he came out of the gate and, and, uh, and was playing that way. Uh, you know, if I played him more minutes, in 22 minutes, he got, he got, uh, how many minutes? 14. Um, so it's on the board. And those are the kind of nights he can have because he's so active and so strong. He's done a good job in the weight room. And he can do that consistency. So one of the things we always look at is him and Trey at the end of the night. And you look at the two of them, we got 22 points and 19 rebounds out of that spot. And that's what we need. We know what the guards are going to give us. They've been very consistent. Uh, we did a good job defending the three. And they had a couple guys that we were concerned about shooting the three, and they shot 0 for 11. Um, so not a whole lot of complaints here. We had a, got a little sloppy in the second half with turnovers. I think we only had one turnover in the first half. But as we started to go up and down, we got a little sloppy in the second half. We got up to 13, which is unacceptable. We always want to have under 12 as a team. But we have five or six game goals we try to reach every night, and I think with the exception of uh, that, we, we made just about all of the other ones. Coach, talk about the good ball movement from your guards. Uh, seems like the chemistry is, is all there. Uh, they have a lot of assists today. Well, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, uh, it, it just creates great space, you know, by having four of them there and their ability to shoot the ball. People have to extend out and guard them, and that obviously gave Ryan some chances in the pedal post, but it also spreads the floor. Offense is about spacing, and they play off their instincts. I tell them they always go into the late and thinking the score, but by nature they're unselfish and they're pretty good passers. So, you know, they'll kick it, kick it, and, and they're willing to make that extra pass. And I thought we got some good baskets in the first 10 minutes of the game, especially off almost the extra, extra pass. You know what I mean? And it got us a really good look. So I was very happy with their unselfishness. Tommy, always talked about having another guy step up besides the three guards tonight. It was Ryan, 15 and 14. How much does it mean, especially with the struggles that you've had up front so far this year, and Ryan on that note? How much, how much did you feel you were in the zone early on? Um, I felt I was in the zone uh, pretty much from you know, the beginning of the game. Until I came down to my team that I felt pretty good today. Like I guess I had new shoes on, so I felt pretty good. Um, just went out there and wanted to play. Coach, God coach bless said, Nike. <laughs> like Coach said, he said he wanted me to go out there and get 20 rebounds, so I kept that in the back of my mind. So I just wanted to keep going out there and play hard pretty much. Ryan, talk about defensively the zone. It was almost a, in Sacred Heart. It was a challenge. You got better in Manhattan. You took a charge today. Talk about how you kind of anchor that defense, and everyone's been more aggressive and t giving up their body almost to get the ball the other way. Well, pretty much the, the zone with the zone. I'm pretty much the quarterback, so I got to you know, tell everybody where to go and what's going to happen. I mean, we still got to get a lot better at it, but I think we're just trying to get better. You know, it's getting a lot better, and it's, it's pretty good right now because you know. Man really isn't working that much, so I think it's all pretty much to take care of what we got to do. Coach, does this feel like sort of a marker when you think about, you know, you're saying they are where you were a few yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. Just when you think about where your team is now as uh, sort of a, a marker as to how far you've come as well? Well, I hope so. I think time will tell, but but for sure. I mean, you know, he's, he's you know, taking over a new program, and, and I talked to him briefly about it before and then after the game. And, uh, yeah, it takes time. And I said to them in the locker room, the reason we're not there any longer is because of them. It's because of Ryan, it's because of John Sevier, and Brandon Frazier who started, it's because of the guys who decided to come to Fordham and take a chance and, and, uh, and help us, you know, rebuild this thing. So it's, it's always about the product you put on the field. What did you see about, uh, out of John just defensively, especially? Around? Better, a little more active, you know, he's still trying to figure out some things and he'll make some mistakes at times being overly aggressive and in turn open up the gap in the zone and, and tonight we wanted them to beat us over the top the way we were playing the zone. But you know there's a lot of different ways for us to play that, a lot of different things for us to get out of that. But I thought he's he's getting better. Uh, he's still a freshman, you know. It's amazing he's putting up these numbers. He still doesn't know what he's doing uh, a lot of the time out there. And, and that's just natural for a freshman, but he's got a lot of more talent. Plus twenty on, on the boards today, forty five twenty five going into St. John's and after one back with last year. How much of a concern is that? Well, you know, Becker's great, the best shot block in the country. So you're going to have to come out and block some threes, I guess, because the way we're, you know, we're kicking it now.
taking the ball away to the rim is, is probably not going to be a huge option. They are incredible at chasing the ball when it goes to the rim and blocking shots. I've seen some tape of them already, and I saw one of their games. So that is their strong suit. So uh, you got to attack it inside out, and whether it's with a post up and a kick out, which Ryan did a good job and Trey did a good job of tonight, or by dribble penetration and then making that extra pass and drawing them away from the basket. But uh, he's, you know, he's an exceptional shot blocker. He's, he's as good as anybody I've seen. John at 23 and 27 minutes, and they're face guarding 30, 35 feet from the basket. Is there anything he can do to surprise you still? Oh, yeah, there's a lot. I'm going mean, to expect it Saturday. Ryan, it seems like uh, you're, you're a leader in the huddle. You get the team going. Talk about, even though you're a sophomore, what it's like to be so close with these guys and be a leader, even though you're a sophomore. I mean, we're all brothers, so, you know, we gotta, somebody has to step up, you know. And it doesn't really matter with the sophomores or, you know, your classroom, but you know, a lot of teams, whoever wants to step up and be that person. We have a lot, it's not just me, we have a lot of people. Might not see it, but it's actually a lot of people that put their input in. But I'm just the more outspoken one. So, just on the offensive end, when you look at at John's shot, is it a question of just being able to get it off more quickly than a, a defense can even respond to it? What is it that sort of allows him to score even when so much of the defense is keyed on? Well, um, he's explosive. You know, he's got great legs. And shooters, so often people talk about shooting form and all of that, and he has that. But great shooters have great legs. He's got great footwork. You know, he's always on balance when he shoots the ball, even on fadeaways. You know, to have the, the ability to square yourself up on those step backs, it's a big time shot. Uh, he can score in transition, and he's not just a catch shoot guy. He can put the ball on the ground and go by you. So you got to respect that. So that keeps people off balance. He's not one dimensional offensively. Good guys? Yeah. Thank you so Thanks, much. Guys. We appreciate everything. Thank you very much.